Hey guys, welcome to the clubhouse. I'm Billy Jackson, and today's review is going to be on American Horror Story Season 9, Episode 8 and 9, Review, the finale. I did not know that Episode 9 was its finale. I mean, normally, I mean, some have gone 12 or 13, I think, you know, in the beginning, then they kind of stayed on a 10-episode season, you know, trajectory, and now this one's nine. What's up with that? I don't understand that. But anyway, that being said, um, sorry I couldn't get a review for episode eight last week, but it was my birthday weekend, and I had to go out and have a good time and kind of uh, do a little Billy Jackson stuff. So anyway, I did, and I'm back, and I'm good. So, and but just to let you know, I loved last week's episode. It was almost my favorite, and I say almost my favorite episode because. Episode 9, the finale episode, was my favorite episode of the season. Uh, I, I loved where they went with this show, with this season. This is ranking up. It's already top five, top five um, of my favorite seasons of American Horror Story. Um, like I've said in uh, my, some of my other reviews, you know, I love the 80s. You know, it's my favorite decade. And the, the, the score and soundtrack for this season was awesome. Um, but let's talk about this finale. Like I said before, I was shocked to know that this was the finale. I, I didn't know going into it. And when I saw the info, you know, on the cable guide thing that it was the season finale, I was like, oh my gosh, I was shocked. I wanted more. I could have done 13 episodes of this season. Um, but anyway, it's getting closer to being one of my favorite seasons ever. But that being said, I love all the Jessica Lange episodes. Those are all my favorites. So it's going to be hard to get under those. I mean, above those. Anyway, <laughs> that being said, how about them trapping uh, uh, Richard Menendez, Menendez, Menendez uh, the Night Stalker? How about them trapping him there and then killing him? And then every time he comes back, kill him again and ripping him to pieces and killing him all different ways all throughout the eternity because that's what he deserves for everything he did to the people um, while he was alive. Loved it. Thought it was brilliant. And, and then they drive everybody off from the festival. I thought the festival was going to come in and it was just going to be a murder massacre. And I was kind of excited for that. But I'm glad that it did what it did, where it drew threw all those people away. And how about all those 80s cars and haircuts and clothes, different kinds coming to the show and being turned away. Oh, I thought it was awesome. I loved it. Uh, that was really cool. Uh, but I really loved Mr. Jingle's arc. You know, from episode one, you know, I, I remember in my review saying, you know, it was weird seeing the killer's face, you know, I thought that it was going to be a slasher where, you know, you have the killer's face in and then you reveal who it is later. But this one just gave you killer after killer after killer. And really the, his mask is the fact that he didn't really do it, that he thinks that he did it. And he was framed, um, you know, by Margaret. And uh, I thought that's just brilliant writing. It was just awesome. I, awesome. I love this season, guys. I can't say it enough. And this finale was also awesome. <laughs> and uh, what about the ending? One of my favorite endings of American Horror Story. You know, you got the family and uh, Mr. Jingle's son, Bobby, who we named after his you know brother who died. And them kind of being there at the, you know, the the gate into uh, Camp Redwood where they can't pass through. And I, I, I was just like, yeah. I mean, all this killing and murder going on, you know, and American Horror Story is supposed to be because it's American Horror Story. So it's supposed to be, you know, dark and gritty and bloody. And it, it was that. But it also felt lighthearted um, this season. And I, and I liked it. That's not a bad thing. Um, I really like the change of pace that this one had compared to the other seasons. Now, I love all the seasons, but this is really turning into one of my favorites. But anyway, guys, I want to know what you think. What do you think about the whole Mr. Jingle storyline? You know, what they did with uh, the Night Stalker. And, how, oh, what about getting their revenge on, on Booth, on Margaret? That was so cool. Chopping her up and putting, it in, putting her into the chipper. Woo! Imagine coming back and that being done to you over and over and over again. Man. But I loved 
Did you hear that? That, that was my cat, Kyra, and this is my cat, Kyra. I can't do that with her because she'll claw my eyes out. But anyway, she's crying. She needs to be fed or something. She needs some water. So got to get to it. Um, but guys, love this season. I hate that it's over. Nine weeks went by like, phew, you know, it went by quick. Um, and I really enjoyed it and really loved it. So I hope you guys did too. But you know, only way to know is for you to let me know in the comments below. Remember to like my videos and subscribe to my channel. And as always, make yourself happy every day, guys. And the only way to do that is to remember the only thing stopping you is you stopping. Bam!